Okay, so we're finally to rational exponents. So when we say rational, we mean fractional exponents. Like we're going to see things like 8 to the 2 thirds power. So that's actually an exponent there. And the hard thing is to know, well, which one is the power and which one's the root? Well, I don't know if you knew this, but roots are always at the bottom of the tree. So what that means is this guy right here is at the bottom, so it's the root. When I say the root, I mean um, like the root, like this is the root. That means the root, the n, the n out here, will be down below. So when we take that root or index out here, it's always down below in the fraction. So we can convert h to the two-thirds. We could write that as the radical form of 8 to the second power. Exponents are at the top of a tree. Well, I don't know if that's true, but roots are definitely at the bottom. So exponent goes here, and root goes right out here. So that is the same equivalent thing. 8 to the two-thirds is the same thing as the cube root of 8 squared. So let's look at this. We can go back and forth from radical form to exponential form. So if this is um, radical form, we can put this in exponential form. The base is 5, and there's a fractional exponent here. The root always goes down below. The root on the tree is down below, so 3 is going to be in the denominator there. And 2 is going to be in the exponent spot. So 5 to the 2 thirds is the same thing as cube root of 5 squared. We should be able to go the other way as well. So this we can write it in radical form. So we can use a radical, we can put 7 inside there. The root is goes out here, that's the little index, it would be 3. And then it's fourth power. You have a choice. You could put the 4 right there, or if you want, you can even put the 4 out here. That's what this property, these two things are equal to each other, is what that says. And so you can put the 4 just right there by the 7, or put the whole thing to the fourth power. And that either way um, really works. And this one, be careful here, so be 8 to the what fraction. What's the root here? The root is understood uh, to really be 2 there. So therefore, this is have to be a 2 here. Um, and then the 5 is an exponent. So it'll be 8 to the 5 halves is the same thing as the square root of 8 to the 5th. And let's do another one. So this one would be the radical 3 here, the cube root, the third root, and the first power. I don't have to put a 1 there because 3 to the first power is 3. And so you need to get better at seeing things like when you see 9 to the 1 half power, it's just a square root in disguise, right? Because the root is 2 and the power is 1 there. So 2 and 1, that's really just square root of 9. So just get used to that and work with it. That's the end of this short screencast.